we see some cleavage or like, you know, whatever it might be, we, we're like, oh God, oh, ah, 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 and then we gotta like stuff it back oh, in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what some people might feel like. Uh Want more than what we can offer here? Go deeper with us. Enhance your sexual connection. Come check out our sex education videos at connorandbrittany.com. Hey beautiful people, my name's Brittany. And I'm Connor. And today we're going to be answering a question about nipple play while having breastfeeding nipples. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a great question from a regular viewer and I'd just love to like read it and answer it. Let's do it. Okay. <clears throat> I have sen sensitive nipples, pleasurable, and wonder how it would feel if I have a baby and breastfeed. I question if I would feel sexually stimulated by a baby nursing as I would from a partner engaging with nipples and wonder about how to transition back and forth from non-sexual nursing to being turned on with a nipple. Brittany, has this been your experience? Or what has been your experience around this? And then to everyone, are you open to sharing if you've engaged sexually with lactating breasts and what your experience has been around this? Which the last one's kind of funny because, because, <laughs> because of course had I have experience then. with that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, so to answer the first part, um, what's interesting, I have had sensitive nipples too, just like throughout my life, and was curious how it would feel just to have like a baby breastfeeding on them, if that mm -hmm. would hurt them or what it would feel like. And actually, I feel like it doesn't hurt at all. It does not turn me on sexually. It feels like a whole different thing. Um, but it, it doesn't hurt and it doesn't feel like they're overly sensitive in this way. I feel like they have like their natural relationship with Ilya as their food source and like mm -hmm. as a bonding thing that we share. Um, but yeah, it feels really different than when I'm sharing that space with a partner. And I think that makes sense. Like we have body, our whole bodies transform depending on yeah. the space that we're in. And any given body part might feel like it is enlivened a certain way or a different way depending on the mm. situation that we're in. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe there's an assumption that, you know, our, our genitals specifically can only kind of be sexual. Right. But that's really not true, you know, or our, yeah, our genitals are part of our body and they show up with all the rest of our body yeah. in whatever we're doing. I love the way that you said that. Yeah, thanks for saying that. And yeah, I'm curious like what you would say in terms of your experience lactating yes. and sex play or maybe sensitivity and if that's increased and... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, honestly, in my body, having my nipples played with has been one of my biggest turn-ons, like forever. And lactating, or even when I had colostrum before mm -hmm. Ilya was born, that was super fun just to like squeeze out. And <laughs> and now lactating, it's been like so cool because it's it's just amazing. Like I'm always kind of in awe of how I can squirt milk out of my nipples. She can squirt at like four feet. Yeah. No, not kidding. Sometimes it's I get pretty excited and we'll just be like hanging out at the springs with some friends and I'll just like start aiming it around and <laughs> shooting at people. Because... <laughs> I mean, it's so fun. It's like a permanent milk squirt gun. Yeah. Yeah. And I will say uh, just on my side of things that I think it's so hot. And um, yeah. I had an experience with uh, someone else like before I knew you or maybe we were just we getting were just, to know each yeah. other, but we weren't living together. And she was, she had just given birth, this other person. And that was my first experience with yeah. lactation. And when she had an orgasm, without touching her, her breast, milk just like squirted out onto my face because she was on top of me at the time. Cool. And I was just like, this is the hottest thing that's ever yeah. happened to me. So when we started relating and connecting, I, I always fantasized about you being pregnant because I think pregnant bodies are just very beautiful They're and sensual. So beautiful. And then, yeah, thinking about, you know, your, your breasts producing milk and just being able to hold them and squeeze them and have this like added element of your your body yeah. this new thing yeah. so it's been incredible the whole yeah. process for me and i just absolutely love it yeah. i just can't imagine anyone not loving it but i know that that must come up for people you know we all like different things yeah for sure but i just gotta say man it's awesome yeah that's been my experience overall too is mm -hmm. like of course like with you and bridget and like engaging <laughs> bridget, Br bridget. <laughs> 
Brit it was like you were talking about yourself for a Brit second. <laughs> with myself, <laughs> I really enjoy engaging with myself. Um, I do. I do. I do. <laughs> And like out, even outside of sexual connections, anybody I've talked to just like about nipples and and breast milk have found it to be like so cool and yeah. a turn on and fun and playful. And that's been my experience with it. It's mm -hmm. just, it's so cool. I mean, it's an amazing thing that the body does. It's incredible. And it's really fun to bring that into a sexual space if it feels comfortable, which yeah, like for me, for us, it, it does. And mm -hmm. I mean, you're gonna bring your boobs into a sexual space. <laughs> you're gonna bring your boobs on your body. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's it's just really fun for me. Yeah. And I, I like that people are thinking about that. But I love the question, you know, and maybe some sensitivity around feeling like not wanting to bring that sexual energy into this space with a baby. And of course, you know, like those things are really different. Yeah. And I think it. I. Th I think we can kind of create, we have the power to put sexual energy or withhold sexual energy. And I think understanding that that is a power that we own is really important. And it may feel like sometimes it's out of our control, but I, I don't think that that's mm. ultimately true. I think it can feel that way. And when we practice connecting more with ourselves, we will connect more with our sexuality and our sexual expression. Right. And I think we have a lot more power right. there than we may uh, feel or certainly that we've been taught. Yeah, yeah, this is such an interesting topic in general. I feel like for me that's, it's so subconscious, like it just doesn't feel yeah, sexual. Yeah, it's not like you would to, really have to try. Yeah, but I could see like somebody wrote to me and they said like, how does it feel for you to hold Ilya when you're both naked? Like, does that feel sexual? And I just felt like hmm. I, that would never even cross my mind. And I recognize hmm. That's that's probably because I'm so used to being nude, yeah, not in wearing a clothing way. in a non-sexual way, yeah. and like maybe maybe other people aren't, and maybe other people aren't like used to um, connecting with their nipples or having their nipples looked at or touched or or right. like outside of a sexual setting, and maybe they just don't have a context to consider that in yet. Absolutely, and and that's kind of what I was referencing before, yeah. uh, just with your genitals. You know, like most of us don't have much experience seeing other people's genitals outside of a sexual space. Yeah. Um, I, and I think that that's pretty weird, personally. Like, it's kind of odd that we don't yeah. just experience that more regularly. Because the truth is, like, we, most of us are in a non-sexual space. Most of most the time. Most of the day, most yeah, of the time. Yeah, totally. And so it is kind of just funny that we have, like, these certain areas of our body that only show up in a sexual space because God, they're there all the time I and they're know. just chilling and i think like the more that we can be around that and experience that you know hugging someone else naked without that being a sexual experience um it, i think is like really weird for most people it's really weird for most people yeah. because we don't have the experience with it but i think it's really basic human connection and we just have been clothing ourselves and kind of pushing sexuality away and you know just boxing it up and only unpackaging it in these very right. specific places where we take our clothes off with like usually one other human yeah. in a specific way and then anything past that is like if you're showing a little too much skin in one area it's like connotated as sexual which right. makes right. sense that people are thinking of it because as sexual we're because so... that's what we're conditioned yeah exactly and we've just like we've been sti we stifle it all yeah. day long you know so when we see some cleavage or like you know whatever it might be we we're like oh god oh ah, 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 and then we gotta like stuff it back okay. in <laughs> <laughs> that's what some people might feel like <laughs> but you know what i'm saying yeah yeah, so. And I think all of this is not to say like, great, so now feel entirely differently about no, this no. area of life where maybe you or any of us have grown up with certain um, just encouragements from society to feel a certain way. And I feel like that's just like something else that we can change mm. and rewire in whatever way feels best for us and makes sense for us. And I do think that we've had a lot of time like in body positive. Yeah situations where yeah. i mean it's so normal in our house to be naked yeah and like it's it was pretty normal in my house growing up to be naked and there's just like i've had so much time where like nudity did not equal sex play right right 
Yeah, and I mean, as you can probably tell, Brittany and I are really sex positive, body positive, and we do that with a lot of intention. We're really like trying, we want to be that. Yeah. And so these things, these areas of shame and guilt and taboo and stuff, we've really put in a lot of time to look at those and let let them go, you know, let those relax so we can be a fuller expression of ourselves. And we offer that to you, to you, to people who want to experience that on a deeper level here on YouTube to some extent. And we also have a much deeper platform on our membership yeah. station or our membership platform on ConnorandBrittany.com. There's a couple of tiers over there. We have one specifically for sex education. Yeah. And if you're interested in that, I really encourage you to check it out. Our whole goal is just to release the taboo, release the shame, release the guilt, yeah. have fun, and also to genuinely educate, but from, from like a, a, like a relaxed like way, a natural, like a natural way, like, hey, we're all... primal humanness. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I offer that to you, ConnorBrittany.com. You can just check out the sex ed. Yeah, and, and thank you, human, beautiful human who sent us that question. Yeah. The way your whole email was amazing, and it's just, it feels really special to receive yeah. those insights. Mm hmm. Those insights. Those insights. All right. Okay. I'm trying to get your, get the cleavage. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Love you guys. Love you. <laughs>